Welcome back to the Linux security series. Privilege escalation is a way that attackers can escalate their privileges on a system. For example, an attacker has gained access to your web server but only as a low privilege user. They cannot read or write sensitive files, execute scripts, or change system configuration. But if they can find a way to trick the system into thinking that they are the root user, the attacker can carry out much more powerful attacks like reading and writing sensitive files and inserting permanent backdoors into the system. So today, let's talk about how attackers can export an SUID program to escalate their privileges. In a previous video, I talked about how SUID bits allows users to execute the program as the executable's owner. For example, if a file is owned by root, then the file would always run as root, regardless of who started the execution. A common use case for SUID or setUID is the password change utility. In order to change your own password, you will need to modify sensitive system files such as Etsy Shadow. So you will need to have root privileges. This is normal and necessary behavior for many programs. But if you can find a way to execute arbitrary code using these SUID programs, you can execute code as the root user on the system. For example, let's say that the file editor Vim is owned by the root user and has the SUID bits set on the system. This means that whenever a user runs the Vim editor, Vim is running with root privileges. And you can actually run system commands from within the Vim editor. So this means that the attacker can execute system commands as root from the Vim editor. The file editors less and more also allow for a command execution in a similar way. And another program that allows users to run arbitrary system commands is the find command. The find command is used for locating files, but it also allows the execution of system commands through the exec flag. This makes privilege escalation trivial. For example, attackers can gain root access by adding a new user to the Etsy password file. Since the zero is the UID of the root user, adding a user with the UID of zero will give that user root privileges. This user will have the username of Vicky and an empty password, and it will have root privileges. This command is normally not possible for normal users because only privileged users such as root can modify the password file. In fact, if any program that allows arbitrary writes to the system file is owned by root and has the SUID bit set, it can allow for privilege escalation. For example, if the file editor nano has the SUID bit set, the attacker can use nano to edit the password file directly. And if a system utility like cp, which is used to copy and overwrite files, have the SUID bit set, attackers can create a new password file overwrite the legitimate password file with a cp command, which is now run by root, and therefore add themselves as a root user. And similarly, the attacker can also copy malicious executables into Chrome directories and get them automatically executed without directly overwriting files. By the way, the setGID flags works similarly as SUID and can allow you to escalate privileges into the owner group. You can see that SUID could become incredibly dangerous when used incorrectly. SUID should only be granted to programs when absolutely necessary and not to programs that allow command execution or arbitrary rights to files on the system.